And I think Evans is going to be booked. It could be for something he said, possibly. He sent him off. I don't believe it. What Terry Evans did, I really don't know what happened there. And Terry Evans, Brentford centre half, has been sent off and will now miss the home final against Birmingham City. That is an absolutely astounding decision. Well, referee Pooley has stunned the crowd here. He's turned what was a gala afternoon for Brentford. Uh, has really been shame and he will now I think miss the Birmingham home game in the Leyland Daff although it depends what he was sent off for if he only has a one game ban he'll miss the home game against Crewe and be okay for the Birmingham game but what Terry Evans did I don't know Sinnott Bab uh, Back to James, Reed, Ratcliffe, Brentford reorganising themselves at the moment, Buckle, Gale, Bab, Jewel, Tinian, City suddenly buoyed up by Evans' dismissal, and not back to Benstead. The crowd are still stunned by, by what happens. Evans, who on the half-hour mark was celebrating his uh, second goal of the season, is now in the dressing room. Holdsworth. Cadet. Buckle. Godfrey. Bates. Reed, Duxbury with Buckle, Duxbury again, Tinian, Ratcliffe, Jones, Gale, tackle by James. So there's going to be a second Brentford substitution now. And Richard Cadet's being denied the chance of his hat trick. Well, that's a, that's a shame. Holdsworth thought he was going off. Now, Holdsworth, no, it's Cadet. Gary Blissett coming on for him. And that's a shame, because it would be nice to see Cadet get his hat-trick. It's not a shame to see Gary Blissett on, but a shame that Cadet's denied the chance. Dean Holdsworth has started to run toward the, towards the uh, dugout. I think he thought he was number nine. Remember, he was number ten and he stayed on the field. So Phil Holder, perhaps uh, considering the game one, wants to test Gary Brissett's fitness for Birmingham on Tuesday. Got 20 minutes to do something. Gale. Well played by Marcus Gale. Gale. What a goal! What an incredible goal by Marcus Gale! That is a stormer! Marcus Gale's first home goal, 72 minutes gone, Brentford 6, Bradford City 1. And the fans ecstatic. No goalkeeper would have saved that, Gale hit that with a ferocious strike. And it's all happening here this afternoon. Rostron. Jewel, Godfrey makes the tackle, Torpy, Bab, Gale. Mark 
Marcus Gale, he scored twice this season, before today. He hit that with incredible power. City free kick. In fact, it's his second home goal of the season. He scored at Reading Gale, he scored at home to Shrewsbury on New Year's Day, and now scored at home to Bradford City. McCarthy takes the kick. And Torpy heads it over. And Mitchell Cadet goes off to a good ovation. He can uh, go and join Terry Evans in the dressing room, can sign him on his sending off. Ratcliffe, Bates, Ratcliffe again, Godfrey, Reed, Duxbury, James rather, looks for Torpy, goal kick. Godfrey, forward by Duxbury. We've had a check on the tape. Terry Evans sending off apparently it was for kicking Stephen Torpy off the ball. It wasn't for anything he says. So if that counts as violent conduct, I'm not sure how many games he gets suspended for. So his presence at the Birmingham home game could be in doubt, which is a real blow for Brentford, particularly as Birmingham have uh, the powerful John Gale in their lineup. Torpy, Tinian, Rostrum, Brentford goal kick. Oliver, Godfrey, Reed, tackled by Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe's moved to centre half since Evans dismissal. Kevin Godfrey's dropped back a bit, but they tend to be playing with a three man defence some of the time. Bates, Ratcliffe, and Rostrum. Torpy. And City fans appealing for a penalty, but uh, not given. It's all happened here this afternoon. Seven goals, one sending off. And there's still course for an hour to go. Miss it. Duxbury finds Tinian. Bab, tackled by Ratcliffe. <laughs> Flick on there by McCarthy. Finds Reed. Saved by Benstead.
Oh, there was a flag after offside against Brentford, and now the play is going to have to be stopped. And in fact, it was in the last minute, the referee says play on, Holdsworth. That was a bad foul. And the referee's not going to torture him for that, or is he? Yes, he is. I think he's behind pressure from the crowd there, the referee. He wasn't going to talk to him at first. It's Gavin Oliver. Holdsworth's getting treatment. And Oliver gets away with just the talking to. So, a bit inconsistent, Mr. Pooley. So Holdsworth recovers. Gale and Jones over the ball, Godfrey behind them. Gale, goal kick. Ratcliffe, Holdsworth. Tinian. Jewell. McCarthy cleared easily by Bates. in it, cleared by Holdsworth, only to Duxbury, he opened the scoring this afternoon, seems a long time ago that now, Tinian, Blissett, McCarthy, good shot and a good save by Benstead, Gary Blissett gave the ball away to Sean McCarthy, good shot and Benstead was equal to it. Sean McCarthy cost Bradford City a quarter of a million pounds from Plymouth in the summer. And it was good effort there. Ratcliffe tackles Jewel. Thought the ball went off Jewel there, but it's a city throw. Bab. Ratcliffe. Comes out to Jewel. City come back into it a bit more since Evans was sent off, despite Gale's goal. James. Goal kick. Will be contending for goal of the season, that Marcus Gale effort. And, yes, yeah, surely offside against Bab, and it is. So there's nine minutes left. Bates. Blissett, foul by Oliver, not given. Jones, Holdsworth, Blissett. Back to Buckle. Back to Bates. I hope it's not going to go back to Benstead, but I'm afraid it is.
Here come my Blissett, Holdsworth. Blissett again. Good advantage by the referee there, but sent, don't, Brentford don't take advantage of it. Duxbury looks for Jewell, but it's much too hard, Brentford throw. Bates. Benstead. Push in the back on Blissett, not Spotters. Tinian. Torpy. And Ratcliffe takes it back to Benstead. Looks for Gale. Still Gale. Oh. Unlucky there. It comes. Buckle might score. Oh. And almost does. So close to Paul Buckle's first goal for the club there. The ball flicks into the area to Gale. He beats his man. Tomlinson saved well with his legs. And Paul Buckle put the rebound just over. Good combination there by two of the club's uh, youth team graduates. Bates, well played by Bates, Blissett, foul surely there by Sinnott, free kick. Rostron, about to take this kick. It's for Bates. And a City free kick. So, Paul Tomlinson, not been a happy afternoon for him. Not been to blame for the goals, but uh, no keeper likes to see these six. And Jewel has put it out the grounds? No, not quite. <laughs> this performance is really going to set Brentford up well for their uh, important first leg game at St Andrews. And then next Saturday, Brentford are playing Birmingham here in the league. And that should be a hell of a game. Flick on by Gale to Holdsworth. Oliver misses his tackle, Holdsworth. He's running out, I think. Gets the corner off Sinnott. Good run by Dean Holdsworth. He'd love to get a goal just to finish things off for the day. Jones with the corner. Punch clear by Tomlinson. Godfrey, Gale, Blissett. He couldn't really do anything else, Gary Blissett. He was stretching for it. And Brentford's leading scorer, not adding to his tally there. Rostron, Gale, Reed, looks for Bab, that's a good ball, Duxby screaming for it in the middle, but uh, Ratcliffe did well to intercept that, Buckle clears, Jones, Gale, intercepted by James, Sinnott, it's for Bab, but uh, it's going to be a Brentford throw. Simon Ratcliffe, he's had to move today into the centre. Of course, made the second goal for Terry Evans, the man who he's replaced. Jones. Ratcliffe. 
Holdsworth. Tinian. Duxbury. Late rally from City. Flick on. McCarthy. Jones tackles him. Just a couple of minutes to go. James. Cleared by Bates. Buckle. So, Cam Brentford just finished the day off with seven. The last time they scored seven was uh, away to Exeter City in 1984. And they got seven here a couple of years before that, home to Windsor and Eaton. Jones. Gale. Miss it. Godfrey. Blissett, but uh, straight to Tinian. Duxbury. He's had quite a good game this afternoon, Lee Duxbury. YTS Bradford City, YTS product. But uh, Torpy fails to control that. The attendance, 5,601 here. Fairly average crowd for the season, a bit below the average, which has uh, crept up to 6,000. Bates, we're in the last minute of normal time. Foul, surely, by Oliver on Holdsworth, free kick. So, it looks like Griffin Park, certainly the place to go for goals on Saturdays. 11 in the last two Saturday games here now. Bates. Rostron, Jones, and that's very disappointing pass really, the players must be tired but uh, comes to Bates, and that's it, no complaints, superb performance of Brentford, final score, Brentford 6, Bradford City 1. Those fans absolutely delighted. It all looked so different early on when Lee Duxbury gave City the lead. Brentford had lost for a while until Gavin Oliver scored their own goal. Terry Evans then scored three minutes later. Keith Jones and Richard Cadet also scored before the break. Richard Cadet scored just after it, and then Marcus Gale ran things off for that superb strike in the 72nd minute. The only blemish in the afternoon is sending off of Terry Evans. The referee not popular with the crowd because of that. But nevertheless, Brentford's best home win of the season, their best win for two seasons, and a good afternoon for Bees fans all round. We hope you've enjoyed this new Sonic Video production. I'm Ian Westbrook. Final score again from a delighted Griffin Park was Brentford 6, Bradford City 1.